What's up, you bunch of crazy cow punchers? You bunch of halitosis haystacks? You bunch of teabag and tumbleweeds? You bunch of lasso lickers? <laughs> Anyways, guys, how y'all doing? It's Tommy the Hammer, your favorite dumbass, coming at you guys with another movie review. Today I thought we would check out the western-themed horror movie, Ghost Town. This is one of those old-school horror movies that I remember seeing uh, in the local video store all the time back in the day. I'm sure I've rented it, but I'll be damned if I can remember what this movie's about. I love westerns. I love horror movies. The combination can be awesome. And without further ado, I'm going to let you guys peep the trailer. While y'all do that, I'm going to be checking out the movie Ghost Town. And then when we get back, we're going to be discussing it a little bit. Don't go anywhere, guys. A bizarre occurrence. It's been one hell of a sandstorm. Something tells me this was no sandstorm. And a nightmarish quest that brings one man face to face with a fate worse than death. Chasing a man on a black horse, and he has got the girl that I am after. You don't belong here, boy. Go back when you still got a chance. It's where evil has no sanctuary. See you in hell, law man. Easy, boys. I'm not looking for trouble. Really? We're tormented souls. We're going to put church, you did. <laughs> Can you help me? The answers come easier later in the day, law man are trapped in time. Damn you all to the hell you deserve. Lost between heaven and hell. I will not rest, nor will this town, till you die, Devlin. I'm going to get us out of here. The lady stays. I gotta say, guys, this movie Ghost Town hits the mark for me in a number of ways. My favorite aspect about this movie has to be the attention to detail in the special effects. It's produced by Charles Band, and if you guys are familiar with his work, then you understand he's helmed movies like Puppet Master, Demonic Toys, and the figurehead of Full Moon Features. Now with that being said, it's also kind of a double-edged sword. Anything with Charles Band's name on it um, is usually of the low-budget build. And that can be sometimes a problem, especially with, um, you know, full moon features from the 1990s, which were immensely sloppy, and there was a ton of sequels, and they were all really poorly done, at least in my opinion. But the early ones, the early films that have Charles Band's name on them, I find to be a little bit more serious, a little bit more in line with the horror movies of that era. I also found the main two characters to be extremely likable, very relatable. I liked the soundtrack. Now, whereas I really did like the special effects and everything that's on display in this movie, my one real main gripe with it is that there's just not enough scenes with undead cowboys. It's almost as if they had enough budget for the costumes, enough budget for, you know, you know the set design, the locations, uh, the actors, things like that. But when it came down to the undead cowboys, there were only a few. And the main one, the main villain, he looks great. So there you guys have it. That's the movie Ghost Town. I liked it a lot. It's a fun romp. And if you're looking for a movie that doesn't take itself entirely seriously and you're just out for a good time, then you can do a hell of a lot worse than the movie Ghost Town. It reminds me of those USA Up All Night, Joe Bob Briggs, Monster Vision horror movies we would see all the time back in the day. And uh, for that, you know, alone, I gotta award this movie out of 10 stars a solid 7.5. 